Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Rhiannon and today I'm bringing you guys a bookshelf reorganisation video. For those of you who watch my videos regularly, you can see that the shelves behind me are quite different and that is because I spent hours the other night reorganising my bookshelves. I unfortunately don't have a clip of how my shelves looked before and that is mainly because I wasn't planning on making it a big thing. I just thought I would swap around a few shelves and get more space and then it turned into a four hour organisation. I decided to pop the camera on a little way through which is why you don't see how they were before so I just wanted to pop in here here at the start and kind of explain that to you just so that you're not confused and so that I can apologize because if I knew I was going to do this video I of course would have shown you a before but it was a spur of the moment thing and I'm really glad that I did it but kind of sad that I don't have the before clips to show you. To be honest I don't really have too much to say for this video. Definitely excuse the state of me though I'd been in work all day I'd come home and as I mentioned decided to film this organization video. I do not look the best and you can see as the video goes on I get more and more stressed and I get more and more worked up and hot so <laughs> please ignore the state of me I feel like you can all relate so I hope you guys enjoy the video and like how my shelves look after all that effort and without further ado let's just dive into the reorganization Right, I can't even get all of the shelves in shot, but this is the current situation. I have focused mainly on the top bit here, which I will show you in a sec, but then we have some empty shelves there, we have some books on my sofa, on my floor, literally in piles, and then I haven't really figured out what I want to do with the rest of the shelves yet. So yeah, this is just a little overview of the state of my shelves. And then what I've decided to do is that I've decided that I wanted this shelf here to be a little bit more colorful. So obviously I do have my colorful one here as well, which I absolutely love, but I just feel like I want a little bit more of a pop of color. And because this is kind of a separate shelf that faces the other way, I thought this one would be perfect. So let me just show you what I've done with it. Okay, so this is the top shelf. As you can see, these books here are still the same. I do have all of my really pretty editions of my classics. And then what I've actually decided to do here is put all of these paperbacks in. So they were originally down here where the Greek myth books now are. And I loved them there, but I just felt like it looked a bit strange. So I've put them here with the rest of my classics. And now I'm absolutely in love. I actually love this shelf so much. It's so, so colourful. I know where all of my classics are now so they're easy to get to and I'm really really happy with it and then we move down here and we have my Agatha Christie shelf. Now again, this was a few shelves down on this shelf, it was on this empty one here, but because I wanted these shelves to be colourful I have moved them up and again I absolutely love how it looks. So we have both of these here that just look really colourful, really appealing and it's so nice to have all of my Miss Marple books there just where I can see them because they were a bit hidden down here and then moving down from that shelf we have my murder mysteries. Now I wasn't ever planning on having a murder mystery shelf but as you can see it's pretty full already and I'm only gonna buy more because murder mysteries are some of my favourite books to read. Granted these ones are more thrillers, they're YA thrillers which I do enjoy, I tend to fly through it really quickly but this is definitely gonna be a continuation down from this shelf into my thrillers, murder mysteries and then it's gonna go down here and possibly start with my middle grade murder mysteries there as well I think. That's the plan because I have these books here which are the A Murder Most Unladylike series and as you can see they're very colourful. Then I have my middle grades here which are again colourful and you can't really see all of them so I would like to have them on display here so that this shelf is then complete. No idea where I'm going to put the rest of these books that were on that shelf though, I'm just looking at it now and I'm kind of stressing. Oh another thing I've done actually is I've moved my Lee Bardugo books from here to their own little section here which again I just think looks so nice. I love having them all together on a separate shelf because you get to appreciate them so much more. They look insane together. I've then put all of my Chronicles of Ancient Darkness book on one shelf. I will not be moving any of these books anytime soon because they are well and truly wedged in there like I can barely move them but yeah I absolutely love that. You guys know it's one of my favourite series of all time and I'm so glad that all of the books actually do fit on one shelf as well. And then here 
here I've moved down my Greek mythology books mainly because I want this one here to be in shots when I film so they were up on these two shelves but I've moved them down and kind of moved my Chronicles of Ancient Darkness one up and obviously I had an empty one where I put the Lee Bardugo ones so this is what they look like again really love the look of it however I do need more space for my Greek myth books as you can see we do have some books stacked here which I really don't love the look of but I'm working with what I've got and I have these two shelves this one in particular is one of my favorite shelves ever I just think it's so stunning so yeah that is where I'm up to at the minute I honestly wasn't expecting it to be a full-on reorganization I just wanted to kind of tidy up a bit and fit in some books that have just been lying around but because my shelves are so full again I think I just need a change of my shelves just to get me motivated to read again because at the minute I'm looking at my shelves and I'm just not inspired to pick anything up and I feel like a lot of that is that books are being hidden amongst other books that I'm maybe not too bothered about anymore so I need to figure out whether I want to film an unhaul or whether it's just the fact that my bookshelves are organized in a weird way so that is where I'm up to essentially I feel like the angles in this have been awful so I'm so so sorry but yeah I'm loving this shelf so far cannot wait to carry on working on it and then the rest of these <laughs> we'll see what happens Okay, so we have made a little bit of progress. This shelf now is more or less done. So it looks like this. And I ended up putting most of my paperbacks on this shelf, actually. I know you can't quite see. Right, that's a little better, but you can see that the light is quite bad in here at the minute. It is going on for 7 o'clock and the sun is setting, which is why there's a lot of light on there. But I will just show you this one first. So this shelf houses all of my paperbacks now. I love this one because it's so colourful. If you guys are regular viewers of my channel, you'll know that that shelf was actually this one. I had them on here just because I thought it was really nice to have in the background of my videos because of how colourful they were but I've decided to switch it up and see how I feel. I'm not completely sold on how it is at the minute so some stuff might still change but for now we're gonna stick with it. I think they do look much better on this shelf because it's just again it's so so colourful and I absolutely love it. And then this bottom shelf here has more of my paperbacks that I'm not too bothered about reading or not too fussed about reading anytime soon. So as you can see I have my Dexter books there, we have my Maria V. Schneider which I really do want to read actually. It's just kind of daunting to me because there are six books. There's a gap in there because I've had to move some paperbacks to fill some of the other shelves but I will move those down there and fill that gap in a second but yes that is this shelf I'll give you the angle from here we go up to my middle grades then we go to my murder mystery thrillers <laughs> then my Agatha Christie shelf and then my classics. So instead of the paperbacks on this shelf I've decided to put my smaller hardcovers. Again not completely sold on this. I love the colour section here but the rest of it is a bit mismatched. You can see that the height of these is all different and it's really stressing me out. The height of the Aurora cycle is also different. So it's not the best but we're gonna stick with it for now and then I have just kept some paperbacks there as well. These are more of the ones that I really do want to get to soon. I have read Illuminae but haven't read Gemini and Obsidio and then the rest of these I haven't read so definitely need to get on that and then this shelf I haven't touched but I have moved stuff around here just to kind of tidy it a little bit. I do have my Anne Boleyn book as part of the Six Tudor Queen series as well but I'm currently reading that so that will go in there one of these will have to move over to the next shelf which is here but again for now I really do like it and it has got some books that I really do want to get to soon on there as well so I feel like I can see them more here just because this is where I sit down to film and yeah I think having them there especially these ones the more colorful ones the blood trials the arrow to the moon twin crowns sister song all of those are books that I'm desperate to get to so I feel like having them there will be really really good right now it's time to tackle all of these shelves which I'm not ready for you guys I feel like it's gonna take me so so long so wish me luck because I feel like yeah I've been doing this for almost an hour now <laughs> 
I forget how long organizations take just because as soon as you get into it all you want to do is sort it out completely and it takes a while and even after organizing I don't think I'm gonna be too happy with some aspects of it but I think it's just gonna have to do for now and then as I buy more books, which I definitely will, I can add them to the shelves and hopefully it will make them look a lot better. Oh my gosh, I've just realised that you can see all of my mess there. Please excuse that, I've just come home from school and kind of dumped everything, shoved it on there, chucked it to the side so that I have room to concentrate fully on my bookshelf, so please ignore that mess. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed, but yeah. I'm gonna carry on doing this now, might have to stop in a little bit just so I can go and make some tea. I fancy a chicken curry tonight so I'm definitely looking forward to that and I'm starting to get a little bit hungry, I'm not quite there yet. So we've still got a little bit of time to do some more reorganising but yeah, it's time to cue some more b-roll I suppose. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you guys, I feel like it's time to take a break. I'm just not getting anywhere with these shelves at the minute and it's stressing me out. I'm really not liking how they are turning out and it is really, really annoying me. So I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna have my tea. I might look a bit different in a minute because I'm boiling now. I don't know if you can tell, I'm very, very red. But this is the current situation. I think I'm gonna keep my Shadow Hunters shelf on the top there and my white shelf there. Probably gonna keep this one and this one the same as well because I love those. Oh, and the Sarah Jo Mass one actually. I've mainly been focusing more on these two shelves and I really don't like them. These three shelves actually. And yes, yeah, something is just not right for me and I'm really not liking them. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna come back in a bit and see if I can change it. But I still have some books on the floor, all over the place, on my sofa because I just genuinely don't know what to do. But yeah, that is the situation. Not the best one at the minute. I'm kind of glad that I've started this. I'm loving that shelf as I mentioned earlier. It's just these two behind me, not so much. I'm not too bothered because as long as the bottom three shelves look nice, it's fine because those are the ones you see when I film my videos. But I still want my shelves to look good. I don't want them to look rubbish. So obviously I want to spend time actually getting them right. And at the minute it's not happening and it's stressing me out. So gonna take a break. I will be back either later on tonight or tomorrow probably, we shall see. But yeah, not too happy with them right now and it's kind of annoying me. So time to take a break and I'll catch up later on. So it's the next day now and I think that I'm finally happy with these bookshelves. I did carry on a bit last night, but I didn't want to film. I think I just reached the point where I was just getting frustrated. And so I turned the camera off and just took some time looking at my shelves, not really stressing about being on camera as well, if that makes sense. And I think that I am gonna keep them this way now, because like I said, I am happy with them. They look a lot better than they did, which I'm happy about, obviously. And yeah, it's different, but I think I can get used to it. So let me just pan you around and show you guys the finished shelves. We do have a Kiwi here as well. She is gate crushing this video. Oh, she just wants to play now. But anyway, as you have seen, this is the first shelf. So we have my classics, my Agatha Christie's, my thriller slash murder mysteries. Then we go into to my middle grade then we have all of my paperbacks and then I have put this little stall back here but then we have some other paperbacks that I'm not too bothered about being on display. Next up on here we have my Lee Bardugo shelf, we have my Michelle Paver shelf, here we have my Greek myth retellings and my educational books as well so like the classical Greek stories. Then we come down here which are all of my Greek myth retellings. Further on down we have my Schwab shelf which is missing a few books because Schwab has so many books that they are actually scattered across the rest of my shelves and then we have my sci-fi section here and then moving on to my two main shelves we start off up here with the Mortal Instrument series then we come down here which still has some Cassandra Clare books then we move on to fantasy and that pretty much continues down the whole of these shelves most of my books here now are fantasies I do try to organize by height but as you can see here it's not completely worked the Stalking Jack the Ripper series is smaller for some reason and here here as well, Furyborn is smaller, I'm not sure why, but then moving down here we have my fantasy paperbacks, which I love this shelf so, so much. This is definitely going to be my Robin Hobb shelf, you can see the majority of this shelf are Robin Hobb books. Oh, Kiwi's here again, gate crushing. <laughs> I'm trying to film a video. Paul? Oh, you're such a good girl. <laughs> 
sorry, Kiwi content for all of you guys. She is adorable. She loves the library. But yes, this is going to be my Robin Hobb shelf. I am going to buy all of her books and put them on here. But for now, we have some Brandon Sanderson. We have the Black Hawks, Kings of the Wild, and the Bone Ships as well. Moving on down, these are some books that I really do want to get to soon. They are all paperback, so I love how uniform they look. Oh, there's the dog. <laughs> But we have the Scythe series by Neil Schusterman, which I got from Rachel, from Rachel Karras, so I really want to read those soon. The Six Tudor Queen series by Alison Weir. I am currently reading the second book and I'm really loving it. And what do you think? Should we show them the last shelf? I think that's a pretty good idea. What do you think? Hey? It's like, Mum, don't embarrass me on camera, please. <laughs> and then the last shelf, we still have my white books up here. I wanted to keep this shelf as colourful as possible. Moving on down, we have some Lainey Taylor books, Sebastian de Castell, and then my pink and purple fairy loot books. The next shelf, again, is one that I don't love because of the height difference here, but we have some yellow books, moving on into orange and then red. Of course, I had to keep Samantha Shannon together. So we have the Priory of the Orange Tree, moving into the bone season. We then have the An Ember in the Ashes series, some fairy loot books, this is out because I want to get to it soon. The Bone Shard Daughter, which again I really need to read, and these two, which again really want to get to soon. Moving on from that shelf, we come down here to my Sarah J. Mass shelf. This isn't going to change. I love this one so much. If anything, I need more room because, as you can see, my copies of the Crescent City series are up here now because I just don't have the space for them anywhere else to make it look nice. So they're just up there for now. Coming on down here, we have my shorter hardcovers, again with a few exceptions. These two are a little bit taller for some reason, but the majority of these are fantasy. I do actually really want to recommend this series. The first book is Bring Me Their Hearts. It's by Sarah Wolf, and I really, really, oh god, these are wedged in there. I really enjoyed this series. I listened to the audiobooks and just thought they were really good. So if you want a quick YA fantasy story, this is definitely one that you should check out. Then moving down again, we have my shorter hardcovers. We have Gallant, The Near Witch, This Savage Song, and Our Dark Duet. We also have some Jay Kristoff books here. We have The Aurora Cycle, which you can I wrote with Amy Kaufman and the Lifelike series. I can't remember what it's actually called. And then moving on to the last shelf here. This is a bit of a weird one and I feel like this is going to change a lot but it houses the rest of my paperbacks and my arcs as well. I have a few arcs at the bottom there. I do have more which I don't quite know where they are at the minute but yeah this is a bit of a mismatch. Didn't really have anywhere else to put these paperbacks and thought they fit in here quite nicely so I think I'm going to keep the arcs there but this will definitely be changing as the weeks go on. So that is it for this organisation video you guys. It was very spontaneous but I'm so glad that I did it and I am glad that I decided to film it. Hopefully Hopefully this video wasn't too boring for you guys, hopefully you got to see my reorganisation process. I did try to talk you through it as much as possible and I really hope you did enjoy it. If you've made it this far into the video and would like to let me know that you're still here, please go ahead and leave a colourful emoji down in the comments. Seeing you guys comment the emoji of the video truly does mean the world to me. And this one's a bit more vague so I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. As well as that, please don't forget to click the like button if you liked this video and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. Thank you guys so so much for watching it truly does mean the world to me and i will see you soon in my next video goodbye